you got to see these six excellent, affordable, versatile bags in my collection that you will not want to miss. Hello, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and you are at AKB Bags. <laughs> and uh, thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. Today is a collaboration with Lo Yeye. And she's very hard to find on YouTube. And so I know she's close to a thousand subscribers and I said, do you want to do a collab and let's get you to a thousand. She's very informative. She knows her stuff and reviews anything from a grocery bag to a Hermes bag. So her budget is much different than mine, but yet same. She will review all the ones in between. So that's why I really enjoy her channel. So thank you, Lo, for doing this. This was her idea uh, that she wanted to do. So I'm like, yeah, let me do my versatile bags as well. And uh, again, go subscribe to her channel. You won't regret it. And without further ado, let's get into, I've got six. I, I have more versatile bags, but I'm not trying to keep you on here forever. <laughs> And so I have six I'm going to go through that are all affordable for the most part. And none of them are designer. They are Coach, Fossil, and Dooney. Because I usually don't throw in the Fossil, but those are affordable bags. You have to be careful on which kind of leathers. They're, they have some vegan options, but they have leather options and all of that. But... Yes, I am wearing my Phi 2 glasses. I know a lot of people don't like sponsored videos, but I do use what I receive uh, either as a gift or commission related. I promote what I use and what I like, and I really enjoy these glasses. I can see far away. I can see up close. Anyway, I'm not getting into the glasses. <laughs> Let's start with the first one, and it's a big one, and it's awesome not a big purse but it's awesome that would be the vintage coach willis top handle in british tan now these are going for a lot higher lately because everyone's buying vintage lately and i got this before the big rush and i got it for like 40 dollars and it is in pristine condition so the reason why I consider these versatile is based on how heavy they are. Do they have a top handle? Can I wear it crossbody? Those are my three criteria for my versatile bags. And this one is light. It's not, it's not a super heavy bag. It has the gorgeous top handle, has the beautiful strap that goes with it. Is it and it's right here the gorgeous raw leather interior it is it's a good bag and a lot of people buy these again this is the coach willis top handle get your hands on one of these but you might wait a bit because everyone's buying them that's my first one i've talked about this one a lot <laughs> and that is because the coach cassie Full size is the optimal bag, in my opinion. It's got the pebbled leather, the turn lock, the top handle, the back pocket. I don't understand why they discontinued the Coach Cassies, the full size, and they instead went with the Cassie 19s. I don't own one of those, but I don't think that I would love it as much as this. And people are still selling these on the secondhand market, but just be careful. Lately on Mercari, I have seen a ton of fake bags, especially in the coach category. I just would stay away because there are fakes galore on Mercari right now. But anyway, back to this one. I think this is so versatile. It is so comfortable. It fits 
against your body perfectly, the top handle. I've had no glazing issues with mine. This is in the color Aurora Pink, which is amazing with the gunmetal hardware again. Some people have shown chipping on this hardware when it's this color of hardware and I have not noticed it and I've worn this a lot of times. So uh, you've all seen the Coach Cassie, but it's very similar of course to the Pochette Matisse Louis Vuitton, but this is an affordable option and it, this leather is so soft. So that's my second one. <clears throat> Next, we're going into Fossil, and this, again, is a lightweight, slimmer profile, can be crossbody, has the top handle, I love the double zippers, has the key from Fossil, I mean, and it, another amazing part is how far this zipper goes down. And then here is the interior. Here's the strap, and I'm getting the name for you, but it has a gray interior, has the gussets on the side so your stuff won't fall out. I always forget the name of this bag. <laughs> it is the Fiona Satchel in golden yellow. Let me put it back here. So you can see, and again, lightweight, top handle, or crossbody, and it is a comfortable carry. It holds plenty. Has a back pocket for your phone. No feet on the bottom, but you know, it's it's an amazing bag. So this is the Fiona in golden yellow. I can't talk about Coach and not put in a Coach Rowan. This is my birthday bag, which was in May, and I love the top handle, the Rowan. It goes down a little bit further right here. I love the leather on the side. They've, they've keep making Coach Rowans for a reason. It's because they're affordable to most people. They're great quality and it has a back zipper on this one. Top handle, crossbody or shoulder strap versatile. <laughs> There's a reason why they keep making the Coach Rowan. It's because it is versatile. And this was a denim collection from 2023. Now let's go to a tinier bag that is lightweight, that is pebbled leather, and it is called the Kareen in Mulberry, extra small size, gold hardware, very lightweight, no feet on the bottom, has a double handles, and it has the crossbody strap. Beautiful soft leather. It sits against your body, obviously, because it's a pretty narrow. And yes, the extra small Kareen bag. And they do make these in the bigger sizes. So if you don't like this size, they have more. And this is some very nice leather quality because sometimes uh, Michael Kors does vegan leather so watch out for that but this is pebbled and again extra small Kareen in Mulberry is the name. Last one. The last one on my list. Now this one is a little bit heavier but <laughs> as you can see it has the features of a Coach Cassie. It has a nice top handle with some extra detail with the hardware, which probably makes that heavier. It's the all-weather leather, slim profile, amazing crossbody strap, back pocket. This is called the Dunianberg Carrier Shoulder Bag. And the comfortable, versatile, and the leather all combined, it, this is a great vintage bag. Also, there's no feet on the bottom, but you can get some really good vintage Dooney and Burke bags, but this is my most versatile with, of course, a similar shape to the Cassie. That's what, I just love it. The hardware is brass. 
Let me give you a quick peek inside if you haven't seen it. It has the raw leather and this is the interior with the crossbody strap. Again, top handle, light, pretty lightweight and very comfortable as a crossbody. So that is my final one, the carrier. And this is basically a taupe and a darker brown trim. Love this bag. So if you're interested in versatile bags, I wanted to give you options that are available. Some you might have a, have to wait a little bit to get the right price that you want and the quality that you want and the materials that you want. These are top handle, lightweight, also crossbody, and most of them have a back pocket, but not all of them. So that is my, these are my choices and I use these bags a lot because of how versatile they are. Get you a bag that has a top handle, crossbody, and a back pocket, it's a win. And I hope I gave you some good uh, alternatives to designer brands because in this economy with the inflation, how it's going, you want affordable options and so do I. I mean, I am just like a middle class woman, you know, I'm a reseller. That's why I like to resell uh, because, you know, I don't want to get too attached to a bag, but although these have not left my collection, so I do have collections and I also have moved some along. I mean, that's just the, the name of the game. You, if you're not using it, if you don't like how it feels, if you don't like if it's not versatile like these bags, then, you know, you sell them. You move them on and someone else can enjoy them. But anyway, thank you, Lo, for collabing with me. And don't forget to subscribe to me <laughs> and to her. Because she, again, is amazing. And I want her to get to a 1,000 subscribers like me. And I know you all will do that. So thank you again. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And give hers a thumbs up. Get the algorithm moving for her as well. And I appreciate all my new subscribers that came aboard. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.